Believe it or not, we have a tropical system that is just to our south, and I mean really close to us. However, it's not close and coming up here to bring us rain, even though we do really need it. Uh, here's Tropical Storm Raphael. This is the early, early morning advisory, 3 a.m., 65 mile per hour. You can see starting to experience some wind shear, some of that dry air as well. That wind shear pushing all the clouds to the north of the system. We actually have cloud cover over our area. Our rain chances today are generally low, though. I don't think we see much out of this, but that is the deal with Raphael right now. Where is this thing moving? Well, it's near stationary right now. It's going to start heading off to the south and you see when it becomes this L here that is a remnant low. So it's going to be no longer tropical at that point as it makes its way midweek and then towards the end of the week towards Mexico. Uh, whatever's left of it will just be spinning uh, as a remnant low, not as a tropical system. Uh, I wanted to show the forecast models because finally they are all in agreement that this thing goes south. It took a while to get everybody to realize what was going on, but now you can see all these forecast models from the Europe pink in the yellow, the GFS in the blue, the Canadian in the red there, all of those taking it to the south. I want to look at the GFS forecast model overall, I kind of break down what's happening here. So this is Monday 2 p.m. Uh, so this is Veterans Day. We still have Raphael spinning down there. This is ahead of a front passing across our local area. So that's pushing everything south and we still have some showers in here. So Sunday into Monday, this is ahead of a front, so we will have some showers that are around. Rain chances will go up slightly, I think, especially on Sunday, around 40 to 50 percent. That front passes. This is high pressure that comes in here. And then another front. Now we fast forward all the way to Wednesday, Wednesday, 6 p.m. Another front, which is located about right here, uh, is going to be working its way through our area Wednesday into Thursday. As we start our day on Thursday, drier and also slightly cooler air will be in on Thursday. So that's going to be the thing that we're looking forward to. Eventually that cool air will end and we will return back to southeasterly flow. That'll be next weekend. And so here's what we're doing with the forecast rain chances Sunday, Monday. We have those rain chances in place ahead of that front. Lower rain chance ahead of the second front. It doesn't look like there's as much juice with that one, but you'll see the temperature differences here. We'll go into the uh, upper 70s, 79 degrees on Sunday, uh, low 80s before the second front passes. Then our highs after that second front passes Wednesday, Wednesday and the Thursday will go into the middle 70s. That is still above average though. What about morning lows? They'll be staying above average, but they're going down. We might see some low 50s or upper 40s as we get to the end of the upcoming weekend into next weekend. Then looking ahead of that, November 17th through 23rd, that's still above average, so temperatures might still be in the middle or upper 70s. So that was looking way ahead in the month. What about today? It's going to be way above average. We're probably going to break a record in Mobile, uh, 84 degrees. That would break the record. And in Pensacola, taking a look at your forecast, you can see temperatures that will be getting up into the 80s here with partly to mostly cloudy skies. Here's that seven day outlook. Uh, looking at Veterans Day, it looks like we have a small chance for rain there. Then we dry up. Another front comes through uh, Wednesday into Thursday, and that will knock our temperatures down slightly for next weekend.